Should Connecticut legalize recreational marijuana? Governor Ned Lamont says yes and wants lawmakers to pass his proposal this year. Now, supporters of the plan say it could mean big money for our state. Channel 3 chief capital reporter is live in the newsroom. And Susan, this is really something that has been debated for years. Erin, as you know, this has been talked about for a very long time. But what seems to be different this year? There's an even stronger push from the governor. We've been talking about this for ages, and um, I think now is the time. Governor Lamont says Connecticut should let adults use marijuana in what he calls a carefully regulated way. Some lawmakers don't need much convincing. What's different this year in addition to that is what we're seeing in our neighboring states. Uh, there's, there's now, I think, a little bit more of an urgency that everybody's starting to realize we have to do something, and if we don't, we're just going to be uh, impossibly left behind. During a roundtable discussion Tuesday, the Department of Consumer Protection said the current medical marijuana program could set an example for rules and regulations. We are taking a lot of what we've learned um, so that the adult use cannabis can still be something Connecticut's proud of. We're going to do a lot to ensure product safety. The proposal also focuses on the criminal system and erasing records for simple possession and on helping people in communities hurt by drugs and crime. And that sets up businesses uh, owned by people of color for success by giving them, uh, creating opportunities for training and jobs programs. So what could this mean for the state of Connecticut in terms of money? Legalized pot, we are told, could bring in about $30 million a year, and that's just in the first year, and possibly close to $100 million in five years after that. But there are lawmakers who don't like this particular proposal. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, why they say this will set the stage for companies to make big profits. Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Well, it's a debate that's gone on for some time, Susan. Thank you very much.